Hi everyone, welcome to my staycation. This time, we will be staying at Santa Grand Hotel Central Market. The Santa Grand Hotel is a three-star hotel situated in Chinatown and just beside the Central Market building, allowing you access and proximity to local attractions and sites. The eight-story building is an excellent location within the city center. Central Market is also one of the most visited tourist areas in Kuala Lumpur. It's a must for tourists. Another cool feature is that the Pasar Sini train station is just 10 minutes walk from the hotel with many public transportation options for your convenience. Backpackers and travellers will love this place. At a glance, the architecture does look oddly familiar. It reminds me of John Wick. It looks like the Continental Hotel in the John Wick movies. The real-life location of the New York Continental Hotel is the Beaver Building at One Wall Street Court in New York City. Next time, I should wear a suit to the hotel. The hotel is an exceptional location right in the city center. It's near to everything like restaurants, famous landmarks, shopping centers, and more. If by train from KL Central, Select the Pasar City Station and then walk to the hotel which takes around 10 minutes. If by bus to Pasar City, you select the Rapid KL buses numbers shown on the screen. We don't encourage you to bring your vehicle because parking is a hassle which brings me to our next problem. Unfortunately, there is no hotel parking. You will have to find parking around the hotel or the Central Market building. There are parking spaces belonging to other buildings or landmarks near the hotel, but it's just a matter of distance, safety of your car, and price. Some places charges you 12 ringgit a day, so it is advisable to come by train or walk to the hotel. It's more adventurous, a bit of exercise, and let you experience the area for yourself. Too lazy? Get a taxi or grab to the hotel. The lobby is clean, modern, spacious, and warm. The seats are luxurious, but simple. You can buy food and eat at the tables in the lobby. The service is good and the staff are very friendly and helpful. It has 8 floors and 42 guest rooms, offering 3 types of rooms. The hotel has gone through many owners. It was previously called the Kuei Hotel or Lumpo. Due to COVID, it closed down. Then it was passed to a new management and was called Sisi Sini Hotel. Now Santa Grand Management took over the hotel, refurbished a bit and now called the Santa Grand Central Market Hotel. Both the Kuei and Sisi Sini were given 4 star ratings while the Santa Grand were given a 3 star only. So this is the family room. It is the biggest room offered. Originally, we booked this room in mind that my son would follow us. But he wasn't around so I took the single bed and Shaz took the queen bed. It has a contemporary design, it's so cozy and I really love the interior of the room. I like the ambience and cleanliness to it. The color are earthy with white walls contrasted with the black and brown furniture. It has a safety deposit box. You have the usual tea and coffee making amenities. Also a mini fridge to store chilled drinks and water. 
Inside the open wardrobe, there is a desk with a unique chair and a lamp. It has two ports, there's one for your laptop or charger and one for the lamp. There is also a comfortable chair for you to sit or even move to watch the TV. Both beds were comfortable and cozy. All had bedside tables, lamps and many ports available. No USB ports though. Each bed has double pillows for each person. The TV is placed high near the ceiling with a suitable angle to watch from all views. They offer many channels to watch. The Kiblet is also shown for Muslims to pray in the room, but there are no prayer mats given. We stayed on the second level so we could see the city view, but I bet you, you can get a better view if you were staying above us. Our view is a bit obstructed by the large tree. Unfortunately, it was still raining outside. You can open the doors, but just slightly. But you are still able to feel the breeze and also hear the noises downstairs. But because we shot this during the Chinese New Year, there are many people visiting around the area. And yes, it was very uh, noisy. But at night, it is very quiet and cooling. The toilet is very clean and beautiful, covered with beige tiles and wooden ceilings, which is continued from the bedroom. You do have a window, which you can open a little bit. At the shower area, you have a rain shower and a portable shower hose. The hair and body shampoos are provided with a beautiful scent. They give the basic toilet amenities with hair dryer, toothbrush, shower cap, and etc. They also provide a very big circle lighted mirror with the switch built embedded in it. They do offer a bathtub, but only available in the studio room. Since we were hungry, we headed down below to buy some snacks and food. We didn't enter the central market building, but just walked around the area. There are small food vendors selling a variety of snacks, Malaysian traditional food, merchandise, and etc. While walking around, it was quite busy and lively. And noisy. Well, it is a popular area though. The nearest ATM and convenience shops are just down below within a walking distance. We encountered two of them, which is 7 Eleven and my new store. There are mama shops, fruits, and snack stands too. I bought some myself and drinks before going up. Nighttime falls. All is quiet for now. We're headed up to the upper floor where the pool is. I'm pretty impressed with this spectacular view of the KL skyline. The view is awesome at night with lights and neons everywhere. The pool is small compared to other hotels, but enough for you to swim and soak while enjoying the view. There is a toilet beside the pool and shower to wash yourself and it's clean. The next morning being hungry and sleepy, we headed down to the cafe, located on the M floor or first floor. The buffet is not a lot. You have nasi lemak with sambal and ikan bilis. They have an egg station, depending how you want your eggs to be. They also have salads, fruits, breads, toast, croissants, and the usual coffee and tea. I wish I just gave like chicken for the nasi lemak. It would be more fulfilling. But I do like the coffee machine. I drank like six cups of it. Even the buffet is small. It was just enough for our stomachs for the morning. There is no gym or fitness center in this hotel. Walking around the central market area, 
it's enough to burn your calories and sweat. The Central Market is one of the most tourist attractions and it's just beside the hotel. But we won't be talking about it or the video is going to be a lengthy one. Visiting the market itself is already a handful. On top of that, there are places we recommend to visit and eat in this video. So it's just that we were on a budget and weather was gloomy during that day. So here is the list. My thoughts? The hotel is value for money and it is highly recommended for those on a budget. It's in the center of everything. I mean, what else can you ask for? For travelers or backpackers and tourists, they can walk about to famous landmarks or even take the public transport since the station is near. They'll be thrilled to experience the sights of Kuala Lumpur. The room is cozy with many amenities and also features like the pool on the top floor which gives an impressive view of Kuala Lumpur. I enjoyed my stay there even if it was just one night. Many places to eat, many places to visit and you can just buy Malaysian merchandise beside the hotel in Central Market. Don't forget to like and subscribe See you next time!